After months of anticipation, preparation, concentration, and appreciation for this great game, your 2020 U of O Eagles lace up their cleats with their gloves and game faces on, ready to battle the Blue Jays of Westminster College in their first home game of the decade. Live at the Coliseum, this is Ozark Baseball. A dinosaur? Oh my god. Gone. Yeah. It was the like, dinosaur with the hoodie? Yeah. Oh my god. Huge. <laughs> it was it was a T-Rex. Oh, okay. Man, it was like Dino Tastic or something. Oh my gosh. Like I don't remember. What word play? They had a pun play. with Dino and like a word that means nice. Uh, I got I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the slow show to starting today, baby. <laughs> it is starting today. The slow show. Premiering at one o'clock and three o'clock today. I'm trying to do it just like you. Alright, 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 let's see, let's see it. Let's see if you learn. Oh, that was good, that was good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Come on, I'm not teaching you how to throw like that, man. Come on. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first game of the 2020 season for your Ozarks Eagles as they take on the Westminster Blue Jays from Missouri. On the mound for your Ozarks Eagles to lead off the day will be David Beck. David Beck is currently 1-0 as he completed a complete game shutout against Austin College last week. The Eagles come into the 2020 season relying heavily on starting pitching and good defense. The offense struggled against Austin College last week, but the Eagles are hoping to turn that around in this series. The Blue Jays' bats were hot at the beginning of the game, scratching across three runs in the first two innings. But starter David Beck settled down and got down to business. Yep, and that's going to be a fastball. It's going to strike out number 27. Still But the Eagles' bats did not hesitate to catch the same heat. That's going to be a hit into left field. Just our left fielder. And Arco's going to take the round at first. Second. That's going to be outside pitch. It's going to be a hit to left field. And the left fielder's going to dive, not going to be able to get it. That's going to bring in two runs with Arco and Aguirre. Edwards advancing to second. A clutch double by Chase Edwards. Go, it's going to bring in two go, runs, go, bringing the total go. of three to two. That's going to be a hit just into right field. And that's going to bring in Edwards from third and advance Stevens to second. This game is all tied up, folks. It is three to three. And that's going to hit Rainier Honnold right in the inside of the knee. And he's going to hobble when it was an inside fastball that got away from the dick tonight. And that does not look good for a hole in that. Brandon Mabry's up in the way for first baseman number 25 as he hopes to bring another RBI. He's going to hit that high into center field. Dwyer's tagging. Let's see if they're going to send him. And they will. And he's going to get in there standing up. No problem as that's an RBI sack fly. The Eagles would go on to score eight runs in the third inning and would hold on to a 10-7 lead going into the seventh inning. Reliever Chris Sloan came out of the bullpen throwing a scoreless sixth inning. And we're back, top of the seventh. Chris Sloan still on the mound for the Eagles. With a 
three run lead. It's 10 to 7. Stevens is going to come over on Luke Morrison's side and take the out for himself. We are setting up outside again. Three sliders in a row. That's going to do it for Wilson as he walks back to the dugout on a three pitch yeah, strikeout. Yeah, boy. Two strikes now, two outs. Seventh inning. Everyone in the dugout on their feet. And yet another slider for Sloan, and that will do for the Eagles. He closed the door and picks up a save. The Eagles are going to win it 10-7, the first game against Westminster Blue Jays. The Eagles would go on to sweep Westminster College after a hard-fought game 2-3, and three, giving the Eagles confidence going into next weekend's matchup against McMurray University.